And then she turned and ran. Ran? Okay, that was weird. I really wasn't expecting that, given the other endings we found. Um, that was very, very incredibly different. Okay, the one I want to try Stanley now is the escape, had never seen the, the office escape, this brightly I lit. Think? Was it a sign of something? Brightly lit? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. He's saying different things. He's not said this before. Someone wanted me to try jumping on a desk? The only desk I was able to get up onto was this one. I remember someone was like pretty insistent. But yeah, I don't. Three, two, three. I think someone was saying this one. Oh, hello. I did not know I could get up here. Okay. Okay. Well then, we're up there. I wonder if this changes anything, because he's had different dialogue. When Stanley months. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah. So I think the next changing point is escape, but I could be wrong. Because now we're going to go up to the boss's Yet office. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Yeah, Hoping him boss. coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Up to the boss's office where it was pretty pretty. I really, I executed boss. Oh! It opens this time! I swear it didn't open last time! I've got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours of course. Say that's a lovely purse. Guys, I swear this wasn't openable last time. Because I tried, remember? I'm all about drinking that toilet water. Is he gonna narrate me using the bathroom? Stanley lamented that there was no bidet in the executive bathroom because clearly as an executive bathroom it should have a bidet and a working mirror at the very least. Now it won't open, maybe? No? I do not know what the trigger is, but okay. That's just a bathroom, it looks like. A self-door closing bathroom. <gasps> Other doors that open now. These definitely did not open before. Okay, the escape's gonna have to wait, guys. I don't think I chose up or down. Oh, I chose up. Okay, this this quest brings a whole bunch of new questions if apparently we can open up or down, guys. I did not know that. What a crappy discovery song, well played. This is the narrator singing. The lyrics? Yeah. I like how this wall clearly has imprints on it of like, I guess, whatever textures they used came with really weird stuff. Oops. Oops, Daisy. No, 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 no. What? That was it? I didn't, I didn't mean to stop the elevator. Can I not go down? What? Am I just riding the elevator, guys? I'm super- I do not know what's happening here. Yeah, I think it just vibrates in place. Okay, well, maybe if you ride the elevator for longer, something happens. Is that a panda with a gun to its head? What the shit? I expect it to go somewhere. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Okay. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, 
looking okay. behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. I don't remember but that. His attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Okay. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input mm -hmm. the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. And then it was passageway. escape, right? It's a mood elevator. Oh, you just you just listen to the elevator for hours and then you end. Gotcha. Okay, we'll see where escape leads. I don't know. This is too delicious. I, I am really enjoying this game. Thank you so much, Ultra. Um, It's actually pretty fun. I don't know how many more we'll be able to find, though, because this is like the last obvious branch I can think of. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh, okay. Violent death time. Violent death time. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. I'm scared, guys. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, is it we just reloading? Oh, okay. What the? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no oh, consequence we're gonna whatsoever. Get smushed. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. What? And so he resigned and willingly accepted shit? this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Oh no. That was such Farewell, a Farewell, Stanley, what? cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. What, what is this, guys? What? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? What? What is going on? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. This is a model of the Do you office? see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development through the call out remains almost identical to the first iteration. The office. Button sounds. A selection of sounds used throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of keyboard strokes. Oh, so they didn't do anything, the buttons, that I thought did something. This is super cool, guys. The two doors. The set of two doors opening was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parables design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it. An exploration of the contradiction this room posed. 
The pacing of this opening section was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in good time. Filing cabinets! What is this? Office computers? Oh. That's sad. And now we get credits? I, I, okay. What's down here? Museum ending? We're all pawns? Yeah. Office clock. Boss's office. I did think the boss's office was nice. I'm like so confused. Freedom ending. This is the very first incarnation of the game's ending in Freedom Alpha. Countdown desk. There's a countdown? Freedom ending. I, I have not discovered the countdown. Monitor elevator room. And place the two endings together. I don't think I have. I don't. I don't think we visited the countdown room. What is this? Zending. This screenshot depicts an early version of the ending known as Zending, which was eventually cut and merged with another in the game. Guys, this is super cool. What? What is this stuff? This room represents the fourth. Game is now paused. Begin the game again. Resume the game. Okay. Damn the despair ending. Spoilers. This is this is really cool. The apartment timer. Wait, there's an apartment version? The cargo lift? Yeah, we still have to fall to our death. And we haven't trusted him. That just reminds me, I haven't trusted him in a bunch of stuff. These screenshots, HD remix, more endings, fewer endings, more narrators, fewer endings. Is to win? That's so cool, guys. Warzone? Would end up in a battlefield fighting aliens? Oh, too jokey. That would have been a cool ending, I agree with them. She's like 1 out of 10. Yeah, I have not found a lot of the endings office okay now what do I do okay uh, I didn't go this way oh I hear talking Wow. How do I, uh... How do I get- this game has like a thousand endings? Find the exit? Yeah, this game does appear to have a bunch of different endings. I- I think it's pretty fun though. Okay, so we went up. We go left. We may not have gone forwards. Oh, there's the exit. Okay, that's the exit. I don't know if we checked up here though, guys. Game design mock-up. William, the level designer, sent David Davy, the writer, as a kind of audition piece. The strength of this level got William hired. Wow, okay. Well played, William. Whoa. Stanley's office. I like how they show us all of this. That's cute. Okay, I saw where the exit was. Let's go out the exit. Bye, Zag. Have fun at JDL. Stop spoiling myself. What? It's not spoiling. It's like, I still don't know how to get to them. <laughs> oh, look at these two. 
How they wish to destroy one another. What? How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. What is she talking about? What is she talking about? Guys, I legit do not know what she's talking about. <laughs> Can you see? Can you see how much see. they need one another? I legit cannot see. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time choose. Should I have quit there? Should I just quit? It's not saying loading, guys. I... What? It's just done. It's just donezies. I think we begin the game again. Okay, there were a couple, so we did the escape. We fell to a... All of his co-workers were gone. Okay. What could it mean? Tools Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. We need to go now all the wrong ways. We upset the guy. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. We did jump Perhaps on he wanted already. to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Standing now in this incredible so, room, Stanley yeah, for the full, but this game eager is to get sweet. back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. So now we go past, and we just take the forklift, I guess? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that... But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Oops. Good job, Stanley. I was trying to land Everyone on the truck. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> Everybody does think I'm very powerful. He's not wrong. Whoa. This is different. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Guys, this is different. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to that the was, meeting room, that was and different. Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Stanley felt lightheaded. Butterflies in his stomach, what? giddy in a way he had never known before. Was it this room? A connection between the two? Could a man love a room? Wow. I mean, I love the room. Truly, truly, deeply, madly. I madly love the room. <laughs> Is he gonna tell me that's crazy talk? Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room no, so that was utterly, just alternate but dialogue. eager to get okay. back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, this time, I'm trying to remember. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I, maybe I think we could perhaps go down we've there. gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize we'll that investing your trust some in someone parts? else can be difficult, hey, but the me. fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Because last There's time we jumped you've off been here, neglecting Stanley, or first time, someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Who's her? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Ooh, She's her. been waiting. What the shit is he on about? And it's another black room. Ah. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. 
to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. What is going on, guys? Where did we go? Okay, well, uh, oh, okay. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Yeah, I already okay, did. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Whoa. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who yeah, want to commit their life it. to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Oh, is she cheating on me? This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? <laughs> Stanley is quite a boring Thank you fellow. For the follow, he has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing oh. buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. What is this now picture? he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going oh. home. Now so he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah... In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into Is the this, unknown. So it's all a dream? Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. Yeah, she was cheating and on me with the And each day that he I'm returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, oh goodness, his boss, everyone in the building it's had suddenly vanished again. off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. What it happens barely if I press even anything? mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Let's just see what happens if we wait. Hi, new people to the chat. We're playing some uh, Stanley Parable. We'll try some other things. Let's see what happens. You can hear the clock ticking. I don't know if it's going to progress if we do nothing. I like to think this has been enough time to wait. We'll give it another 30 seconds. Let's see if it'll trigger something. Okay, it's not looking like it. That was like 10 seconds. As he wandered really, through they made this a difference between world, zero and o. he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down what one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just yeah, one more time. Yeah, he just subbed. But there is no answer. Whoa. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, sad. the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world he can never be anything but an observer. He's so rude that as long as he remains here, I've never played he's this little fake killing friggin'. himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay, we're gonna not do it. We're gonna not do it.
Is he is he gonna I don't know how long we have to wait and not do it. And not do it. I don't think it's sad. I think he's just being mean to us. I don't think the game is particularly sad. I think it's interesting. It's not like a lot of games I've played. What happens if I push all the other buttons? Damn. Nothing seems to be happening! Do not do it. It will never end. You see? Oh no. Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? What? How can I get him to see what I Am see? I killing myself? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't nothing. make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. Yes. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Please die. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. He's so rude! 